Hey folks, we are back for another night of Morrowind. As always, I'm Jeff. I play old, weird, obscure retro games. Uh, Morrowind's not very obscure, but it is retro. I am raising money for the Toronto Hospital for Sick Children. I'm going to plug this a lot if you show up to my streams. Uh, I'm doing an, an event called Extra Life. How it works is it connects gamers all over the world with their local Children's Miracle Network hospitals. Mine is the Toronto Hospital for Sick Children or Sick Kids. Uh, and it culminates on game day, which is November 5th this year. And it is a 24-hour gaming marathon. I will be starting mine the evening of November 4th around 9.30 Eastern. And I will be fundraising and gaming for 24 hours on a live stream. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to start with the 1998 horror game Sanitarium. It's going to be creepy and fun. There will be clowns, so prepare yourselves. Uh, if you check out my fundraising page, uh, I posted the link in the chat, and you can also check out my profile down below under my About section. Uh, there are some fun incentives this year. Uh, you can pick a game for me to play. You can uh, choose a destination for me to fly to in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'll go anywhere in the world that you want. Uh, and there's also one where I will eat the world's hottest tortilla chip. I will not do it during my 24-hour marathon because apparently there's a good chance that you will suffer for 8 to 12 hours from intestinal distress. Uh, so I'll be doing a separate stream for that if uh, someone does choose that incentive. Uh, I hope someone does, though. It would be very nice for someone generous enough to donate that uh, to watch me suffer. Uh, <laughs> it will be fun. I will eat the chip. I will wash my hands very carefully, and I will play some video games. And with that, let's get on to playing some Morrowind. Okay, so where we left off last time, we were hunting for Dater Hearts. So we are finishing up all our quests for the Tribunal Temple, which is Morrowind's native religion. It's kind of cool compared to the other religions in the setting in that it is run by the Tribunal, who are three actual living gods. They used to be mortal. They aren't anymore. Uh, and they've been guiding the people of Morrowind for a few thousand years now. Uh, and we've been kind of immersing ourselves in the culture. You know, we're, we're foreigners here. We're an outlander, uh, as people often point out. Uh, and we've been learning a lot about Morrowind's culture by joining the temple and doing good works. Uh, a lot of the tenets of the temple have to do with, you know, imitating the example of the tribunal uh, and, and doing good things in the world and trying to cultivate those qualities. So we've been going around doing those things, uh, killing vampires. Uh, there's a creepy cult called the Sixth House, which is an old organization that used to be one of the major political entities in Morrowind uh, until a, a big betrayal by the leader of that house. But they've been slowly working their way up from the underground. They got big things in store for us if we don't stop their plans. Uh, their evil immortal leader, Dagoth Ur, is awake once more in Red Mountain is this volcano in the center of the island we're on. The island is called Vardenfell, uh, and it's really just one part of Morrowind, uh, but it's where this game takes place. So uh, we're just doing the last few quests of the Tribunal Temple quest line. Uh, li like I said, last time we were looking for Daedra Hearts, which we have to donate. Uh, in my off time, I actually went and bought some, so you don't have to watch me uh, wandering around looking for them. And we're just going to 
get on with it. Uh, we killed a few, uh, what are they? Are they Malakath? Yeah. Malakath cultists that attacked us here. We got their little piles of armor. Uh, and I was looking at my stats and uh, I did some training in medium armor because I've got some not great heavy armor on. Uh, I've been specializing in heavy armor until this point, but the dwarven armor, uh, it's its not that great. Uh, and I think the orcish, now, now that I've brought my medium armor skill up a little bit through training, I think it's going to be uh, a little bit better for us. So you can see the armor rating on these pieces of Dwemer armor is 42. And yeah, it's 62 with the Orcish stuff. So we are going to pick up, we need, uh, we need Greaves and Pauldrons. Uh, the rest, we have better heavy armor in those slots. We've got some Daedric stuff and we've got an artifact called the Dragonbone Quiris. Uh, on our chest, but we are going to pick up, if I can get them, I may just have to pick up everything and uh, drop what I don't want. Okay, so we want the Greaves, we want a left pauldron, and we want a right pauldron. Just going to drop. Uh, no, we're gonna hang on to it. We'll we'll flip back. Uh, but I, I want to make sure I've got complete collections of all this armor, uh, because we will be doing some interior decorating. Uh, if not this session, then next session we're gonna get ourselves a house. But uh, let's just admire Dorcas now that he's got some orcish armor on. He's starting to look pretty badass. Oh, and we've got a cliff racer. I don't know if he can get to us or if he's stuck. He might be stuck. All right, I'm just going to do this. We're supposed to donate these hearts, dedicate them at the Shrine of Malakath. Malakath is a Daedra Prince, which means he resides on a different pr plane of existence. He's kind of like a god uh, in, in that Daedra Princes tend to be worshipped. They can intercede on uh, people's behalf. Uh... But they live in a different plane of existence than what we are on. They all have their own realms there. And Malakath, I believe, is... What did it tell us? Yeah, do we have a little... Topic? Has anyone told us about Malakath before? No, no one's told us about Malakath. Anyway, he's the patron Daedric Prince of the Orcish people, which is cool, because Dorcas Malorcus is an orc. All right, so we have to recite this uh, four corners thing. So once like a great house founded on sand stood our temple whose pillars on troubles were based. Now mischievous spirits bound in dim corners stand. Rotted columns, but with iron bound bands embraced. Cracked crumbling marble tempered on every hand by strong steel forged in fire and faith. Shackled these wayward servants serve the land, the temple secured by the builder's grace. So the story is, once the tribunal rose, they ascended to godhood, they uh, put all these Daedra princes in their place and said, you know, we realize that uh, our traditional religion here has venerated you, but we're in charge now. Uh, and some of you are good and want to help us, and some of you are bad and cause trouble for our people. We're still going to acknowledge you. These are the four corners of the House of Troubles. These these four Daedra princes that are a bad influence. And Malakath is one of them. So we want to go back to Vivek and get our next assignment for the next corner of the House of Troubles that we want to visit. So I am just going to use my Elm Civi Intervention spell, which should get me back to the nearest Tribunal Temple. Which looks like it's in Aldrun, which we're going to be spending a lot of time in in the near future. It is the house seat of House Redoran, who are the uh, noble warrior protectors of Morrowind is kind of their deal. And I think that is the great house that I am going to choose to join. The others being House Lalu, who are very forward-thinking, 
modern uh, merchants and House Telvani, who are a bunch of racist wizards who live in giant mushrooms that they grow. Uh, <laughs> I think Redoran is the one for Dorcas. So we are going to go to Vivek to the High Canton and get our next quest. But first, we are going to go to Caldera and we're going to drop off all our sweet, sweet loot. Interesting. Did we drop through the floor? We might have dropped through the floor. It happens. Yeah. Oh, here we Can go. We're service? fixed. Uh, it does usually correct itself if you somehow fall through the scenery. Oh, friend. Excuse me. A potion today. I make my own potions. So we're going to go to Gorak Manor, where I'm storing all my stuff in piles on the floor. Hey, you skedaddle, how you doing? We are continuing a Morrowind playthrough tonight. I feel like it. I feel like it. We're just dropping off our loot in the appropriate piles. Hey, Amazon Warrior. So like I said, I'm just piling up all my loot. We are going to, when we get ourselves a home base, uh, we're going to purchase some mannequins and we're actually going to display all this sweet, sweet armor. So that's something that should be fun. Uh, interior decorating is a very large part of this game. We're just putting all the orcish armor with the other orcish armor. And what else do we have? Nothing else I want to get rid of right now. So we are going to go back to Vivek and we are going to tell the uh, Patriarch, who is kind of like the uh, Tribunal Pope. We're going to tell the Patriarch that we have completed the first corner of the House of Troubles. So we're gonna go back to the Mages Guild. Good to see you, Outlander. Searching for spells. Oh, friend. How about a and we are gonna zip to Vivek, which is named after one of the members of the tribunal, and it's where he lives in a big palace. So now that I'm at the Mages Guild in Vivek, I think I can use Elm Civi intervention and teleport myself to the temple. Yep. So this is Vivek, the city. It's built out of these things called cantons, which kind of float, or I guess they're built onto the water. Uh, that's the Ministry of Truth, where heretics go. Uh, ominous. Uh, up here is Vivek's palace. This is where the living god lives. It's got a little, little office on top there. We'll meet him later. I am blessed to be at your service. Excuse Alexander. me. So we have to talk to Tholer Serioni here. So he says the second house, the second corner of the House of Troubles is Mayrune's Dagon, the Daedra of Destruction, who represents the trials the Dunmer face in the lands of Morrowind. At Ald Sotha, the Daedric ruins northeast of Vivek City, Vivek rescued Sotha Sil, the only survivor of the minor house Sotha, from the armies of Mehrun's Dagon. Fight your way to the statue of Mehrun's Dagon and recite Vivek's four corners of the House of Troubles. So, uh, Sotha Sil is one of the other two members of the tribunal, uh, the third one being Almalexia. So, Sotha Sil's thing is. Uh, He's the, the wise wizard. Uh, he's kind of like a Gandalf-like figure. Uh, he's older than the other two, and he's supposed to give very good advice. Uh, Vivek is the poet, adventurer, rogue, uh, master of treachery and deceit. And Almalexia is the... She's supposed to be like uh, a mother to the people, so her thing is... Uh, healing and caretaking 
A warm welcome to you. So we're gonna go to Altsotha. I think I've actually been there before for another quest. Yeah, it's already on the map. You can see I've traveled there. I am blessed. So hopefully it'll be mostly cleared out of baddies and I'll be able to just, uh, that is the slowest bird I've ever seen. Uh, hopefully I'll just be able to waltz on in and uh, get to the statue that I need to get to. Alright, I'm going to put my boots of blinding speed on. Which do blind us a little, but make us walk much faster. <clears throat> going to jump off the side. Avoid fighting these mud crabs. Okay, so we got to go basically straight north from here. <clears throat> you can hear her little feet moving. Woo! Uh, that's an ingredient I want, I think. Your comment. Oh no, never mind. I'm looking for more ingredients I can make potions of feather with. Because uh, I like carrying treasure. Anyway. I'm just going to keep running. We're almost there. I'll still have this Daedric Ruin. Yeah, we can see it there. So I'm going to take off Boots of Blinding Speed. So if we get in a fight, I can actually hit something. And Daedric ruin, Ruins are very distinctive. Oh, got some enemies in here. Summon our axe out of the ether. Cliff race. Oh, we got another one of these. Golden Saints are Daedra, so they come from the Plain of Oblivion. They're not native here. What do you got for me? You got a Daedric Katana? I'm definitely going to take that. I'm going to take the heart. Uh, the Dragon Scale Tower Shield, I don't really need. Lip Racer, I'm going to take your plume. You also have a Daedric Katana. Daedric equipment is super heavy, so I'm going to be dropping that off really, really quickly. Uh, but Daedric weapons and armor are the best in the game. Uh, the trade-off is they're super heavy. Uh, I'm sort of aiming to have Daedric armor at the end, but uh, the weapons are super heavy. That's why I've been using uh, a spell that summons an axe out of nothingness. Uh, that's, that's what I uh, do to avoid this person's just standing around. Are they trouble? Not trouble, all right. Uh, yeah, so instead of carrying a weapon, I use these spells. Now we just need to find the entrance, which looks like it is down there. Can't rest here. Enemies are nearby. All right, in we go. So I just want to rest and get our Magicka back. In case we need to do any fighting. And I guess we just need to get down to the sanctuary and uh, find the statue. Like I said, I've previously been here. So all the mortal opponents will probably be gone. But there are going to be a few Daedra around. So that was a Dramora. He's got a Daedra Katana. I don't know how many more Daedra Katanas I need. I'm just going to leave this one on the ground. In fact, I'm going to leave the other extra one on the ground, too. If I want it, I can come back for it later. But really, I just want one of each. I'm never going to use that thing. And they're so expensive that uh, no merchant can buy them from us. Hello? Yeah, I thought so. Like, literally, no one has enough money to buy them from us. Okay, 
I'm going to use one of my potions. I made some... Did I? Did I use them all up? Maybe I used them all up. Made some restore fatigue potions last time, which keeps my stamina up. Uh, stamina is the little green bar in the lower left. And basically, uh, the lower it is... Yeah, it, it, it makes it harder to do everything. So literally everything has a chance to fail that gets higher and higher as your stamina, your fatigue gets lower and lower. Uh, so I'm just going to brew us up some potions here that are going to keep my energy up. can't do that so <laughs> this sometimes happens the way potions work is uh, it's the same if you played any other elder scrolls game uh you get your apparatus which all increase the quality of the potion you're making uh and you get your ingredients and you have to find two ingredients that have the same effect and if they have a matching effect you get those effects in the potion if they don't match you don't get those effects you have to have at least two that match that effect to make a potion that does that thing the problem with this is with the the kwama egg and the heckalo hackalo leaf is restore fatigue is the effect i'm after but they also both have paralyzed because ingredients have bad effects as well uh and paralyze is not something i want to do to myself so we're going to find something else that has a restore fatigue effect but doesn't have paralyzed so there you see it's just got restore fatigue because that's the only thing they match on so we made ourselves a few energy drinks there we go that will easily keep us nice and ready and fresh casting fire spells on me which is great because i'm totally immune to fire spells wearing my i have an ebony staff already i think I'll grab it for now i'm totally immune to uh fire spells because of my dragon bone queerus which is an artifact armor he's got the same axe as me only his is real as you can see, they're, like I said, it's hugely heavy. It, it weighs 90 pounds or whatever whatever the weight unit is supposed to be. Uh, it's absolutely ridiculous. I do want one because I don't think I have one for my collection yet. But I'm pretty sure I've looted this whole area before. So there's probably nothing left in this chest. Yeah, it's already unlocked. Just need to get down and find that statue. Down, down, down. Shrine. That's probably where Mayroon's Dagon statue is. Oh. Got some more Daedra. Like a golden saint over here. I think that might be it. I don't care about that. I'm going to take your heart. I don't know if I have a glass claymore yet, but I will take it. Now, what is raising my strength so high? Oh, blessings of the first corner. Cool. Uh, my strength is higher than it naturally is right now because of that quest I just did. So I'm going to ride it out. It means I can carry more than I normally would be able to. Yep, I want that ingredient. No one else is hiding back here. That's good. It does look like I've probably taken everything that is worth taking from these chests at an earlier time. Yeah, nothing too exciting. Okay, so we will recite the four corners. So, uh, it's the same thing I read last time. I'm not going to read it out loud again. So we 
are just going to zip back and report our success. Yes, that's just going to stay up on the screen. It assumes I am reading it out loud. No matter, I'm going to cast Mark in here because I forgot to last time. Uh, Mark will let us cast the spell Recall. I'll actually show it to you on the mark. See the little X there? When we cast the Recall spell, uh, we'll instantly teleport to where we cast Mark last. Uh, no matter where we are in the world. So it's super handy when you're doing quests. You only have to make the trip one way. All right. So tell me about the third corner of the House of Troubles. It's Molag Ball, who tries to destroy the Dunmer by corrupting our bloodlines. That's questionable phrasing. Uh, Bal-Ur is known as the birthplace of Molag Ball. Uh, where the Doom Drum tricked Molag Ball into becoming mortal. Uh, Vivek defeated Molag Ball here and sent him back to Oblivion. Bal Ur is just north of Saran, but to get there easily, you need to find a way to levitate over the mountains. I have no idea how Molag Ball plans to do that. I am not privy to his secrets. Uh, it sounds like something you just scare people with, though. So Saran is here, I think. Yeah. Oh, so it looks like we've been to Bal Ur as well. All right. I am blessed. So Oh yeah, weaving is a big thing in Morrowind. I am blessed uh, to be there's actually a Weaver's Guild here in Vivek that we can do some quests for at some point. But yes, it is a highly respected art form in Morrowind. Lots of tapestries, lots of rugs. Gotta have nice rugs. They just love them. Alright, so I'm going to... see... I'm going to put on my boots. I'm going to go to the foreign quarter. And I'm going to use the Mage's Guild to uh, get back to Caldera and drop off all my super heavy stuff that I found last time. Is there something? All that Daedric equipment I don't want to keep lugging around. So I think this one up here is the Foreign Canton. Could be wrong. Supposed to be. Uh, yes, it's the foreign order. So we're going to go up to the Mage's Guild, which is on the top. Pretty sure we get to it through here, or do we have to go up higher? I think we got to go up higher. Yes, here we go. Take my boots off. So I can see again. And that is the sign of the Mage's Guild. I must say, I find you most interesting right now. Oh Please God. go ahead. Oh. No, you're in my way, though. Excuse me. Good to see you, Outlander. Usually Searching they'll get out of the way. Shuffle buyer. Yep. Thank you. You seem like very good company. I'll be dealing with you later. Okay, so we are going to go to Caldera. Can I do a service? Oh, greetings. Who 
We're going to unload all our treasure in our treasure piles. Good to Like I said, uh, probably, if not tonight, next session, we are going to be doing some interior decorating. We're going to get ourselves a home. And we're going to actually be able to display all this stuff that I'm just putting in... Uh, I feel messy like piles I on the feel floor like in this place. I feel like okay, where's my Daedric stuff? Okay, over here I got Daedric stuff. It looks like I already had an axe. What else have we got? We got a hammer, a bow, club. Alright. So, we're going to put the katana down there. <laughs> well, you know, I, I I really feel welcomed by all these people who refer to me as Outlander all the time and sneer. Uh, so I've decided to make my home here. Okay, here's my ebony stuff. I actually don't have a lot of ebony equipment. Uh, it's not wood. <laughs> it's uh, it's a type of volcanic glass, is my understanding. I don't know. Maybe a nice four poster like this. Uh, glass. Glass is over here. Do I have a glass claymore? I do not, so I'm gonna put my claymore down. And this is all extra stuff that I will eventually try to sell. Good. I feel like it. I feel Holy like shit. it. Holy shit. Without you. Without you. My place is going to be neater than this, though. My tapestries are going to hang straight. There will be no piles of ash in the corner. Or books or skulls in the fireplace. Excuse me. So we want to go to Saran, which is down here. And I guess Vivek is still the closest one to it, so we're just gonna zip back. The skulls or the you, books? Searching for spells. Oh, friend! How about a potion? You honor me. Do you need a potion? Okay. Uh, is there somewhere I can rest? No, I'll just rest outside. It's you fine. seem like very good company. Maybe I can rest. I think I can rest. Perfect. I must say I find you Well, regardless, my place is going to be better organized. Oh, it's raining. Now here's the question. Do I walk down or do I try to survive the jump? I might have a slow fall spell. Yeah. Uh, it only lasts for 10 seconds run out before I hit the ground. No! We landed on a soft mushroom. So we want to go to Saran. I think I can take the Silt Strider. I'm pretty sure there's a Silt Strider around. Yes, over there. I can hear it. Oh, you want me to walk all the way to Saran? Okay, we'll walk. It's a nice day. Uh, we'll pick some alchemy ingredients as we go. I will chug another energy drink so that I don't have to slow down. Let's see 
some wildlife. Those are netch. House. So let's see here. Nothing that says Saran. Oh, we're going the wrong way, that's why. Got him to go more north. Nice walk through the Escadian Isles region of Morrowind. Not much excitement around here. It's mostly farms. This guy's got a guar. Rolly the guar. What does Terrace have to say? Says you look like you could use some extra cash. Maybe you could be of some use to Rolly and me. Tell me about Rolly. He's the finest pack guar he's ever had the privilege of knowing. They've been together for years. He and <laughs> they have their arguments, but uh, they always seem to be able to work things out. That's nice. Okay, what do you got for me? You're heading to Vivek to deliver a shipment of clothing to Agrippina Herenier, the clother clothier. Some of the finest clothing I'll ever see. Perhaps I can interest you in some. Regardless, I've heard the rumor that the road to Vivek has become rather dangerous of late. Perhaps you'd be willing to escort the two of us. Uh, Rolly and I would be most appreciative, and I would be willing to offer compensation. Yeah, sure, let's help him out. He says, there's a good fellow. See, Rolly, I told you there were still good folks in these lands. Rolly's become such a pessimist in his old age. But I told him we'd find someone to help. When we get there, I'll reward you. 200 septum seems fair. Sure. So tell me about this lady, okay? Two hundred does sound about fair. Alright, let's do it. Let's travel together. We're going back the way we came. And Rolly and this guy are gonna come with us. We're going to be a good Samaritan and take them to the city. If they can keep up. Come on, Rolly. See, we'd never be able to help them out if we hadn't decided to walk. That was a good suggestion. We're gonna make 200 bucks. Are we even going the right way? This way. Uh, I probably pick someone's crops. Come on, you can do it. No, Rolly, you're stuck. Come this way, Rolly. Get out of the corp ball. You're gonna ruin it. There's some good mushrooms. Look at these, they've got like Spanish moss coming off of them. Or slime, I can't quite tell. Okay, Rolly, you're free. Come on, Rolly. You can do it. There you go, come on. You made it. No, don't go back. Come on. You can do it, Rolly. It's not that confusing. This guy's confused too. Let's just leave these people's farm. It's 
really a very simple trick, guys. Come on. Okay. Stay here. Hopefully they'll stop moving. And now let's go. And hopefully that resets. Yeah, okay. He's no longer stuck. Let's go. Back on the road. Cross-country adventure was not a good idea. Dorcas is here. We're, we're helping Rolly the Guar and his master uh, get to the big city. They've got some uh, fabric to unload. Come on, guys. We're almost there. Yeah, just about. Let's go. How's it going, Duke? want their business to succeed. Hello. Someone standing there. All right. Ah, uh, we're just about there. There we go. So he says, well, Dorcas, we're getting pretty close to the city, and they don't let a big old guar like Rolly here inside the walls. Seems a shame since he's a, such a personable sort. Isn't that right, Rolly? Anyway, from here, you and I can travel on to Agrippina's alone. Oh, okay, so he wants us to go all the way up. They're called Netch, Duke. All right, uh, so we're leaving Rolly here. And we are we are going to the clothier. I think of them more like air jellyfish. Coming. Better come. He's so slow. He's not even wearing armor. He's got no excuses. Rolly can take care of himself, I guess. <laughs> uh, I don't think they taste good, but I do think that you can make leather out of them. Okay, so I think... Agrippina Herenia. All right. Maybe let Netch leather taste good with salt. Come on, come on, come on. So hopefully she's in uh, this canton and we don't have to wander all over the city looking for her. I'm just going to check the map. On the outside, that would be great. Nope. So up we go. Come on. So 
I think she might be in here somewhere. We're gonna see. Maybe he'll tell me. In the canal works of the foreign quarter. Okay. So we gotta go a little lower. Well, you're going to be devastated in like 18 months top when the next one goes. Okay, this is her shop. Dorcas Malorcas, we've made it. Thank you for your help, and Roly would if he were allowed in the city. I really must speak with someone about that. Think of how much he'd enjoy visiting this place. He'd be talking about it for days. Alright, so that was it. Uh, we helped blessings. him deliver his stuff. So now we're gonna go and finish our House Great of Troubles you. quest. I feel I good though. Uh, I think it was nice that we helped that guy out. And I hope Rolly isn't waiting too long for him. So I'm going to put on my boots of blinding speed again. I'm going to drink an energy drink. We are going to go to Saran. I'm going to jump off the edge and hopefully I won't get smushed. Come on, there we go. <laughs> hey, Rolly's still here. Rolly says nothing to you at this time. All right, take it easy, Rolly. Actually, hang on. Gotta get selfie with Rolly the Guar. All right. So Saran is up here. We gotta go. Forward. And I'll take off the boots of blinding speed once we get back to where we met Rolly. But it does help us retrace our steps. Pretty quick. I'd say about here is where we were. Oh, is that just a dock? Okay. Way across. Getting close. If I remember right, there's someone who we avoided last time we were in Saran who we might want to have a talk with. Okay. Yeah, so. That's Bal Ur there. You can see the, the Daedric Ruin. Saran is this little town over here. And just over the mountain. I said there was someone who we avoided last time we were here but I think we're ready to meet this time
Someone who's been searching, searching for so long. I think, I think I know what he needs now. I think we can provide it. Over. I'm not the Pope yet. Almost. I don't have enough magic for my axe. At least my good axe spell. I think we're gonna be the Pope today, though. I think it's gonna happen. Okay. We are just going to rest here. Oh, we got an ash storm. Anyway, there's a guy down here. His name is Umbra. I'm gonna make sure I have an axe. So, Umbra, he says, have you come seeking me? My name is unimportant, and my accomplishments are few. He says, what would be the use of knowing my name? If it will make you more comfortable, you may call me Umbra. It is the name of my blade, although it may as well be mine. All right, he says, his accomplishments are few. What are any of my accomplishments in the whole of this world? I've traveled from one end of the land to the other. I have killed creatures that can stop a man's heart with but a look. I have the blood of man and myrrh uncountable on my hands. I have seen the atrocities of war and the hideous excess of peace. There is nothing left for me in this world. Hey, Dragon Mech. Uh, it is a mishmash, and I'll give you a, tool, a tour of everything I've got on in a second. Uh, but there is some Daedric in there. Oh, you've seen the atrocities of war, have you? Uh, he has seen the wholesale slaughter of men, women, entire races of people. Villages have burned before his eyes. His hand has held the tor torch, and his hand has thrown water on the flames. He has been ankle deep in blood, swinging Umbra in a wide arc, all for the glory of battle. And here he still stands. He says he has nothing left. I have no more to do in this life. I have saved whole towns from packs of Daedra. I've slaughtered men for the glory of countless nobles. All that is left for me is my own death, and the gods have cheated me of that. All I ask is to die like a warrior, but how can that be? I don't believe it is too much to ask to die as a warrior should, in battle. It is my curse, though, that I have found no one that can best me in combat. Are you the one that can? Can you come and lift me from these shackles of life? Come then and be the new wielder of Umbra. I will give you the death you deserve. Yeah, he absolutely does. He doesn't want to take it though. All right, goodbye. What a waste. So he has Umbra which is kind of a cool sword. It casts Soul Trap on the target, so we can capture the souls of uh, our enemies. And he's got full Orcish armor, uh, none of which I'm gonna take. I'm just gonna put it in a neat little pile on the ground, and it can be a little monument to him. Goodbye. There we go, a little monument to Umbra. So my armor, uh, like I said, it's a mishmash. Uh, my chest armor is the Dragonbone Quirus, which is an artifact armor. Uh, I'm completely immune to fire damage with it, which is pretty cool. Uh, my helmet is the Mask of Clavicus Vile, uh, which is also very good armor-wise, uh, and it increases my personality. It makes me much more personable. People like me more when I wear it. Uh, other than that, I've got orcish armor on my shoulders and my legs, and I have daedric boots and daedric gloves. 
That's my outfit. Yes, so the Lord's Mail is a good one. Uh, it's part of the Imperial Cult quest line, so hang on to it if, uh, if you're not on that quest line, if you just came across it. Uh, Lord's Mail is great. Uh, at the end of the quest line I'm currently on, I'm actually going to get my favorite chest armor in the game. And it shouldn't be too much longer. So we got to go to Bal Ur, which is just around the mountain from here. But yeah, the Lord's Mail is a great piece of armor. Everyone who has been tuning in lately will be glad to know that I have created myself a new spell uh, that makes my axe last for five minutes instead of one minute. So I'm going to do that now. It's my permax spell. Get out of here. Knock it off. Yeesh. Bye. I don't have a glass staff yet. Add it to the collection. Your shield is terrible, though. What is this? Saturn. Okay, I think that's part of a quest later on, so we're going to avoid it. But... Oh no! Yeah, sneak is really hard to raise. You're gonna have to find trainers is all. Make some money and find trainers. Yeah, I just went with one of the default classes. I think I think we're a battle mage. Yep, it is a terrible leveling system. <laughs> uh oh, I'm stuck in a hole. Okay, I'm out of the hole. And those are the Daedric ruins that I am after, I think. Nice. got to find the shrine in Bal Ur and uh, touch the statue. Okay. Get out of here. You have nothing I want. So we've got hostile cultists. How does it feel to know death is near? What do you got for me? Lord Jornabrit's Last Dance. Is that a skill book? I increase my light, light armor skill. Okay, so we got multiple levels here. We may be levitating a bit. We got a lava pool. That's cool. Just How does it feel to me? It's all Nords in here. I'm gonna take your repair prongs, but I don't care about anything else you have. So I'm gonna see where this door leads. Underground. So we're gonna float up there and see what's going on. Yeah, uh, with the Tribunal expansion, you'll get that uh, attack by the Dark Brotherhood assassins pretty early on in the game, and that's just a fantastic set of light armor. Oh, sorry, Oprah. I think your uh, chat got censored. Give me a second to kill this guy, and I'll let everyone see the swear.
Yeah, well, they often come before you're ready for them. Yep. You got auto modded. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Can I, can I un, oh yeah, here we go. Okay, your swear has been allowed, Oprah. <laughs> A dog hears something outside. <laughs> oh, that's what she hears. Jen's home. <laughs> The dog was crying and I didn't know why. <laughs> okay, do these guys have any good treasure? Oh, we got a Daedra Dagger and a Daedra Heart. Let's see if we can find a little pile of ash from the other one. Uh, Daedra Kawakasashi, I'll take that. Is that it? Is that all that's up here? It's a hallway, I guess. Oh, I see. Whoop, more cultists. He's got ninja stars. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was just like another entrance. No real secrets to speak of. Take your heart. Yeah, so some of these did ruins. Uh, have all sorts of crazy secrets in them. So it's always worth checking them out. All right. Jump down. Hopefully not into the lava. Heal myself a little bit. And before we head into the next section, we'll just take a little breather. Oh, actually, no, I made potions. I made restore magic potions. Get my axe back. We do not need to take a breather. Underground we go. Yeah, I hope you don't have athletics on your major and minor skills, Oprah. That's probably the hardest one in the game to level. Phew. <laughs> Just looking to see if any of these ingredients are things I want to make potions out of. Yeah, well, Dorcas, Dorcas needs to work on his cardio. The crab meat and the hound meat. Oh, there's some netch leather. Grip Ellie's useful. What else? Scuttle is good. You can make potions of feather out of it. That's a pretty good spread. Gold. A ring. You got some sleeping bags. A little dinner set up over here. Very domestic. Okay. Get out of here. Yes, I, I will take your skin. Down we go, down we go. Oh, we got a bone lord. Yeah, mercantile is a hard one. Uh, yeah, like I said, find those trainers. Uh... That's, that's a pain. Now, Battle Mage, 
there isn't really anything that's a huge pain except enchant. Everything else you can you can put your mind to it and you can level it, but enchant is extremely tedious. Ooh, this is cool. There's the statue up there. Might need to float around in here and see if there are any secrets. and kill me. Okay, I'll talk to you. He's probably going to try and kill me as soon as she realizes she doesn't know who I am. I do want that glass helmet, though. Yeah, I took the glass helmet. She didn't notice. I'll take the heart. She didn't notice. Anyway, lady, uh, <laughs> my personality is high enough that, uh, yeah, it's like above 100 with all my bonuses. Uh, sometimes enemies who are intended to be hostile, uh, they think, ah, he seems okay. All right, here's the statue of Molech Ball. So I am going to float around a bit because there's clearly some secrets in here. We're gonna see what we can find up above. Yeah, we're supposed to be reciting this this poem here. But I'm not gonna do it again as being the same one every time. I think there's a secret area up here. Yep. What do we got? We got a chest. Got some urns that I can't see inside of. Oh, egg. Rat meat. Bunch of scrolls. Those are good for selling. Nothing on the table. All right. You're going to try and disarm the trap and pick the lock. I am very good at this, by the way. My security skill is super high. We're working on it, though. up that lock pick. Come on, it's only 25. There we go. Now we need to disarm the trap. So we need a probe for that. Uh, the trap is too complex. Your chance to disarm it is zero. All right. Well, I'm just going to eat it. It doesn't hurt me too bad. What's it doing? Oh, it's draining my magic. That's annoying. Uh, and there's basically nothing worthwhile inside. So. Yeah, it don't matter to me. They don't weigh anything. Uh, there used to be a mod... Uh, that put them on a key ring so you'd have like one item uh, and it would just remember which keys you'd picked up but I did not install it this time around okay I think that might be it for in here let's return Wrong one. We're looking for the one in Vivek, but we got all, zipped all the way to Molagmar. I guess that was closer. That's okay. We'll just cast Recall. Okay. So we need one more corner of the four corners. Uh, the last corner is Shegarath, the mad star who threatens the Dunmer with madness. It is time to renew a pact that Vivek made with Shegarath long ago. To do so, I must find the Gamble Putty. 
Yes, I know it's a strange name, but all Shegaroth's creations have the touch of madness. Find the Gamble Putty in Al Daedroth and donate it to Shegaroth's statue there while reciting the Four Corners. This will renew the pact and prevent Shegaroth from tormenting us with madness. Al Daedroth is on the islands between Shegarad and Azura's coast. He will mark the place on our map. So let's take a look. It should be up here. So it's this guy here, Al Daedroth. Okay. That's not too bad. So, we're going to have to take a boat there. Up to Dagon Fell, I am probably. So we'll go to the Mage's Guild. Maybe we'll we'll take a uh, we'll take a boat to the Mage's Guild. There might be a gondolier around that we can hire. Instead of walking there. And then we'll teleport to Sadrith Mora. And then we'll take a boat from there. Uh, actually, I should get rid of all my treasure, too. Where are my boots? Fast boots. Okay, you there. Bring me to the foreign quarter. Nice. Oh, the boots are great. I forget where exactly you get them. It's someone you meet on the road. But they're so handy. You don't want to wear them in combat because you can't hit anything when you're blind. But uh, just being able to zip around like this is the best. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm gonna take a nap. Three blessings. And we're gonna zip over to Caldera, which, as you know, actually, this person. All right. Uh, sometimes there's something interesting when a new topic pops up. That was the clothier that we, we brought material to with uh, Roly and his master. So, Caldera. Can I be of service? Drop off our stuff in our stuff piles. And my game crashed. We'll get it back, though. Yeah, so uh, if you put things in certain containers, uh, you you can lose them. But if you just put stuff on the ground, it will never disappear. Everyone can see this, right? Let me know if you can't see the game anymore. I just rebooted it. Can I be of service? But yeah... Uh, Friend. Excuse How me. About a potion uh, no one will steal anything you put on the ground, which is very funny. Because I'm not even doing yes. it in my own house. I'm going into someone else's building and dropping stuff on the floor. It was so I don't want to deal with you. The guard can deal with you. Everyone hates cliff racers. Uh, because containers, uh, the way they are organized in the game, some containers, like it's not all of them, uh, some containers, like uh, will get more treasure put in them, uh, and when that happens, it replaces whatever you put in it in the first place. So after a certain amount of time passes, the people who own the building the containers are in, uh, might use the chest and put their own stuff back in it. So you'll come back, and there will be just random stuff in there instead of what you left there. Uh, so you put your stuff on the ground and not in containers is the moral of the story. So there's that. I have a halberd, so the halberd can go in the pile over there. 
I don't think I had a helmet yet, so glass helmet, go with the set. Like I said, we will be decorating next session. Uh, put you there, put you there. Uh, we got a dwarven spear. I don't think we've really been collecting the dwarven weapons, but... Welcome, please speak. This is a pile of stuff we want to sell because it's duplicate. And what am I carrying? That's oh, it's Umbra. So Umbra is cool. I mean, I'll pull it out for you so you can see it. It looks really cool. Uh, it's not the best weapon in the game, but it is cool. Uh, yeah. So it's just going to be for our collection. We're not going to actually use it. So we'll put it over here in the pile of mystical artifacts that are one of a kind, unique items. Welcome, please speak. Yes, that makes more sense how much we're carrying. Anything else? Yeah, we're good. I feel like it. I feel like it. So I off we go. To Al Daedroth. I think it's going to happen tonight. I Go think ahead. we're going to become the Pope of Morrowind. Yes, stranger. I wonder how they're going to handle you, that. Friend. Oh, friend. Having an orc in charge of the you church. A lot of bigotry in Morrowind. So, we're going to go to Sage with Mora. Which is down here. And we're going to take a boat up to Dagon Fell, or possibly... No, Dagon Fell is probably closer. Uh, and then we will hike the rest of the way, slash swim. You seem like very good company. I am very good company. That sounds incredibly annoying. Uh, I played a lot of Skyrim. Go ahead. Uh, but it's not one that really... Go I don't ahead. know why. <laughs> they they have released and re-released and continue to release more versions of Skyrim. Uh, it's fun. It's just not particularly memorable for me. Uh, Morrowind is really the one that, that sticks out in my mind as just really interesting, fascinating story, fascinating culture. It actually feels like an alien world. It's not a generic fantasy setting, uh, which Skyrim kind of feels like. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's kind of like fantasy Scandinavia. But uh, Morrowind is just weird and strange, and there's, there's something about it that I love. I also really love Daggerfall. Uh, Daggerfall is the one previous to this, and it's also excellent. I did a, a complete playthrough of Daggerfall. Well... <laughs> complete. Uh, there's actually infinite quests in Daggerfall, but I did a complete playthrough of the main quest of Daggerfall last year. It holds up. It's good. So we're going to go up to Dagon Fell, and we are going to go southeast-ish. Beauty night. Skyrim is okay on console. Uh, they've actually got the, the user interface down to the point where uh, it, it's very easy to do things. It's not... Uh, it wasn't a PC game first and then they thought of maybe porting it to consoles. Uh, they put a lot of thought into it. But, I mean, I always prefer stuff on uh, the PC for the most part. Oh, we don't need to go there. We just kind of need to go across the water. Do a little bit of island hopping. It's amazing we can swim wearing this armor. Uh, there weren't a lot of sewers in Daggerfall, no. There are a lot of sewers in this game. Uh, Oblivion had some sewers. 
Uh, Daggerfall does have insanely huge, massive dungeons, though. Uh, just absolutely ridiculous. Oh, okay. You guys are going to love this guy. I forgot that he was out here. It's Mike the Liar. Warm day to you. This is Mike the Liar. He's got things to say. Uh... All right, he says, I seek, you seek knowledge. Mike has much, some of it verified by actual facts. Talking mud crab merchant. He says, Mike has heard of this. They've got all the money. Mud crab's taking over everything. They already run Palagiad. Um, there actually is a talking mud crab merchant, which is very funny. Uh, okay. Mike, tell me about how I become a lich. He says, it's very easy, my friend. Simply find the heart of a lich, combine it with the tongue of a dragon, and cook it with the flesh of a well-ridden horse. This combination is certain to make you undead. Uh, extremely funny. Uh, well, not extremely funny. It's kind of funny. There are no liches, no dragons, and no horses in Morrowind, uh, despite them being in other Elder Scrolls games. So, there you go. That's the joke. Dragons, he says they're everywhere, but you have to fly very high to see most of them. The ones nearer to the ground are very hard to see, being invisible. Okay, horses. He says, Mike loves horses, especially with a good cream sauce. Uh, so, hey, can I ride on anything? In Daggerfall, the previous game, you could buy a horse and you could ride on the horse. It was great. Uh, so I'm asking him about that. He says, you wish to ride upon a beast? There is a way. Go to one of the many Silt Strider ports and pay your fee. You wish one for personal use? Ah. Walk if you must. Run if you are chased. So, moving corpses. Says, that sounds frightening to Mike. The undead are nothing to be toyed with. Uh, let's ask him about multiplayer. He says he does not know this word. You wish others to help you in your quest? Coward. If you must, search for the Argonian I'm Leet. Perhaps the big Nord, Rolf the Uber. <laughs> they will certainly wish to join you. Uh, maybe he can help us with the mystery of the dwarves. This is a quest we've got from Trebonius, who is the head of the Mages Guild here and is a total moron. Uh, we've actually been diligently pursuing it, trying to figure out why the lich or why the uh, dwarves have disappeared. Uh, but Mike says there is no mystery and that he knows all. He says the dwarves were here and now they are not. They were very short folks, or perhaps they were not. It all depends on your perspective. I'm sure they thought they were about the right height. So that's what he has to say about the mystery of the dwarves. Naked liches. He says they're a horrible thing indeed. If you see one, let Mike know. Mike wants to make sure that he to look in the other direction. All right. Uh, what about nudity? He says, ah, the beauty of the naked form. These Dunmer are rather prudish, are they not? Of course, there is an island you can reach filled with wonderful naked glistening bodies. It only ever appears when the moons are full, the rain falls, the seas, runs red, seas run red, and it is Mike's birthday. Uh, that's another thing. In Daggerfall, there was nudity, and there's no nudity in Morrowind. So a, a lot of these jokes that this guy has are just dumb in jokes for if you're already familiar with the series and also uh they're jokes that kind of developed the in jokes on the elder scrolls official forums that used to run back in the day yeah rope climbing it says climbing ropes that hang is not too difficult but he prefers to climb the ones that are tied horizontally <laughs> no you get used to the cats moving around in your peripheral vision um, so in Daggerfall, there was climbing, and there's no climbing in uh, Morrowind. Not really. If your climbing skill was high enough in Daggerfall, you could actually climb vertical city walls and stuff. It was cool. The Shrine of Boethia. He says, you seek the shrine that is no longer there? An interesting concept. Look to the seas to the west. There lies what was once the shrine. Take a deep breath and begin your search. Okay, so this is another mystery we'd be pursuing. Um... 
Another mystery we've been pursuing is uh, there, there's a, a Daedric shrine that used to exist and we don't know where it is anymore. He seems to think it's underwater and he actually marked it on our map or no, he just put it in our journal. So I think it's underwater. But if it's underwater, we're going to have to watch out for where sharks. Uh, he says he only he has only met one, but he was afraid of the water. So maybe we don't have to worry about it. Uh, yeah, so we actually got a journal entry about this shrine. So maybe at some point we'll go over to Hla'od, wherever it is. It's around. Yeah, Hla'od. Go out west into the water and see if we can find it. But for now, we are off to Aldeidroth. Uh, anyway, I forgot that Mike was out here. Uh, his purpose is really just to uh, say some jokes. Droog. So I think it's on this big island up here. We got combat music. Is there a fish trying to get me? Yep. Swimming, swimming. Might want to drink an energy drink. Still got a couple. I brew them myself. Okay, so I can see Al Daedrot there in the distance. The Daedric ruin architecture is very distinctive. Lovecraftian. The angles are all wrong. Diggs is a murderer, for sure. He looks like he's resting, but he's just plotting. Uh, I hear combat. What is happening? Someone's fighting someone. about oh okay it's over this guy gonna try and fight me a warm welcome to you. he thinks I'm cool so we won't worry about it he just killed this orc dude though or pa hmm. all right in we go you gotta find gamble putty Gamble Putty is a glove, I think. It's a magic enchanted glove. We'll ask around about it. Uh oh. It says this character is in combat. Alright. Well, I guess I better get out my axe. trying to ask some questions. Okay. Big old room. It's kind of making a noise. 
Yeah, that sounds like digs. All right, I guess we'll do the right wing first. Okay, so it looks like we've got people from the temple here. Uh, I don't know why they're here. Oh, the Ring of Sanguine Wisdom. That's something for a quest we're gonna hang on to. Crimson Despair Amulet, Belt of Sanguine Smiting. I don't need a Demon Mace, I think I have one. So did that, no, that's not Shagarath, that's some other, some other Daedra Prince. Mayroon's Dagon, maybe. That's the inner shrine. Okay, is there anything else up here? Or was that it? It's just a little hallway. Yeah, there's another direction. So we came from up there. All right, all right. Not seeing Gamble Putty around. Keeping an eye out. Uh, let's do the left wing, which sounds like a more welcoming place, as long as you've done the readings. people are doing here, but they're not attacking me, and the other people are, so I've already got glass armor, I don't need to pick that up. Oh, we got more stuff here, what do we got? We got a helmet with a skull in it, That's funny, don't need that potion, the axe is kind of crappy. That one, don't need that one. Actually, the potion of detect enchantments is something I do want. That may help us. It'll find magic items, I think. And make them glow. Ooh, more treasure here. I want the heather. Rubies. Uh oh. Okay. He just disappeared into thin air. Uh, I don't want the emeralds. Do I want a stone flower petal? Not really. That's Azura. We will definitely learn about later. There's a way down, maybe? Let's be on the other side. You guys gonna tell me what you're doing here? No. Nope. So I guess we are going to the inner shrine. How does it feel to know death is near? Do you have anything cool? No. Oh, we got a golden saint. I don't care about your weapon, but I do want to take that heart. And that's the statue of Shagaroth. That's the Daedra Prince of Madness. He's kind of cool though. We just need to find that glove he wants. Take the ruby. Uh, I'm gonna use a spell to open that. Why not have that? There we go. Maybe I can disarm the trap. 
not knows. It says I have a chance at least. There we go. Uh, and there's not really anything taking in it. A little bit of money. Oh well. Give me my axe back, please. My axe anymore. Right. Better get it. He's trying to kill me for opening that box. Take that ingredient. Alright, let's hunt around. Gamble Putty's got to be around somewhere. I like saying that though. Gamble Putty. I think it's a glove, if I remember right. Antichamber. Okay. Of course, there's fighting going on in here. Got a dead ordinator. Dead warlock. Oh, rat. Wondering what that was. Seems like there's still fighting happening. Take your heart. Oh, you've got an enduril shield too. Interesting. It's actually very good medium armor, but uh, temple guards will attack you on sight if you wear it because you're not a temple guard. Oh, I've murdered so many people here in their own house. There's another three right there. Taking anything memorable? Ebony spear, sure. You're still looking for gamble putty. Uh, I wouldn't consider myself a villain. I'm more of a unreasonable force of nature that knows neither right nor wrong. I'm not beholden to morality. Okay, we better take these guys out quick. What's oh, now? They're hanging out. Oh, okay, they're talking to me. Well, 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 what do we have here? Do you have your invitation? Are you a player of the game? Or one of the game pieces? Or a humble spectator? Were you summoned, or do you come of your own free will? It hardly matters. The party is open to all. Make sure you pay your respects to the host. Grab a drink from Lustedrike over on the corner, then feel free to mingle with the other guests to join the dancing, chancing throng. I believe the ones in the gold masks are party crashers, but all are welcome to the Mad God's Mask and Bellicose Ball. Um... Yeah, so again, Shegaroth is the Daedra Prince of Madness, and these are his worshippers, so. Uh, alright, alright. Shit. <laughs> so I, uh, I'm gonna load my game here. I had my axe up when I started the conversation, and uh, I thought they were going to be hostile. So, sorry person, I did not mean to attack you with an axe. You just seemed like a harmless, madness-worshipping person. Well, 
Like this? Uh. <laughs> What's now? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we did this conversation. But, uh. You may ask your question, but make it. Ragger's Gob says meow. Just meow. Uh, he says he's Ragra's Gob the Khajiit. Okay, so the Khajiit are the cat people in the game. Uh, clearly this orc thinks he's a Khajiit. How do you like my tail, he says. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him it looks great. Uh, he says he likes me and he's gonna tell me a little secret. Oh, no moon sugar, no secrets. Come on. I gotta find some moon sugar for him. He's asking for drugs. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just gonna take the moon sugar here. Tell me the secret. I've got some moon sugar for you. I stole it for you. You were looking the other direction, but... So... Ragra's gob said knows something you'd like. He put it under his pillow for the sugar fairy. All right, so we're going to be looking under a pillow if we find a pillow. Uh, What's now? That looks like. Okay, Listedrike is the person who we're supposed to come to for drinks. I uh, got anything I want as long as it's Sujama. Free drinks. It's on the house. You gotta drink it here. Don't want you drinking and flying out there. <laughs> Alright. So I, I guess I drank one. So I'm gonna check under these pillows. Because apparently there's something good under them. Ah! It's Gamble Putty. Which is horribly useless. Uh, but that's what we want. Gamble putty. Is there anything under the other one? Nothing. Okay, so we gotta go back down to that statue. I'm gonna rest a little bit. I'm a little beat up. And I put my hands away, so... No one feels spooked. But I gotta find that... Statue of Shegaroth and give him the glove. Yeah, well, this guy wants Gamble Putty. Oh, that's his butt. I gotta walk around the other side. Feels weird to talk to his butt. Okay, so I guess that's it. Cast recall and go back and say we finished all four pilgrimages of the House of Troubles. And I guess we like help the people of Morrowind out. Well, Apparently, if we don't do that every few years, uh, Shagarath makes everyone insane. A warm welcome to you. No. Okay, go away. The text just lingers. I'm supposed to actually read it out loud, but I'm not going to do it. I already did it once. I'm not reading poetry twice on one stream. Where is that slave? Okay. I did. I finished all the Four Corners pilgrimages. Gamble Putty. I found it and returned it to Shagarath. Okay. One more duty. I must recover the Ebony Mail. I guess, yeah, he seems fun though. The ebony mail may be found on Mount Asernabibi, which is north of Molagmar. Mount Asernabibi is where Molag Ball oversaw the 99 lovers of Boethia that gave birth to Almalexia. I'm not going to interrogate that. Uh, go there and pray before the shrine. If you are worthy, you will receive the ebony mail. Return it to me and I will make you a patriarch of the temple. So that would make me the pope. So we got to go to 
Olagmar up the mountain there. Okay. I think we can do it. We're going to be fast. We're going to put on the boots. Take a boat to the foreign quarter. We're gonna zip up. Go to the Mages Guild. Step by step, you gotta know how to get around this island. Travel to Sadrith Mora. We should be able to take a boat to Molagmar from here. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Like a straight up reboot? How do you replace Kelsey Grammar? Excuse me. Run down to the dock. Say what you want. And we're gonna take a boat. Three blessings, sir. To oh maybe we can't shoot. Where are we gonna go? We're gonna go to Talbranora. I don't know where to begin. It is such an honor to meet you. We're gonna take a boat from here to Molagmar. Alright. So now we're gonna go up the mountain on the pilgrimage. Pop. Alright. We're not going to take off our boots of blinding speed. We're going to get this done tonight. I have to pull out my axe. Okay. Up the mountain, up the mountain, up the mountain. There, I'm gonna take off my blind boots, which is good. Attack my cliff racers. Oh, and that looks like the shrine right there. And apparently, if we are worthy, we will be given the ebony mail. This is where Molag Ball oversaw the 99 lovers of Boethia that gave birth to Almalexia, mother of Morrowind. I don't know what that means. Uh, I have received the ebony mail from the shrine. Uh, it rocks. It's extremely good armor. All right. Sadly, we have to turn it in. I think we get it back after we get promoted to Pope. Found the ebony mail. Yes, here it is. He says, keep it. Treat it well and do good deeds when you wear it. You are the new patriarch. I have long waited to retire from the politics of the temple, temple and write another book of sermons. Uh, that's it. No more duties. We've done all the temple quests. Uh, we are the patriarch, the archcanon of the temple, the highest mortal authority in the temple. Uh, it's not quite as good as being a pope in the Catholic Church because uh, Morrowind 
the the holy trinity they're they're still alive and giving orders they're they're here they're just in a building behind us uh so it's not quite as good but it's pretty good so the ebony mail is ours we did it that's the whole temple quest line i think we know a bit about morrowind's religion now we wanted to learn a little and now we are the pope so uh well done that's it nowhere to go and it's actually very funny uh when you wanted a promotion before you have to ask about advancement and now and uh now when you ask people about advancement they uh they just ask what they can do for you because uh, they they think that you're gonna promote them anyway we're gonna wear the ebony mail uh it's slightly less armor rating than our dragon bone cuirass uh, so our dragon bone cuirass is heavy armor it's got 210 armor rating and resist fire 100 percent the ebony mail right now is 206 with our current medium armor skill because it's a medium armor piece uh it only has 75 percent resist fire which is still pretty good but it also has a shield effect of 50 and resist magic 20 there we are we always have this cool shield effect on us now thankfully you don't see it in first person i am blessed oh maybe we do we kind of sparkle matter. maybe i'll find a mod that gets rid of that that's going to get really annoying Thank you, Dragon Mech. So, what are we going to do next? Uh, well, one, we are going to go to Caldera, of course, and drop off all our loot. But uh, I think what's next for Dorcas is he's going to have to join one of the great houses. Uh, one of the great houses of Morrowind get involved in their political entities. I think he's going to go for House Redoran. And that will set us on the path to getting ourselves our very own home. We're going to get a stronghold out of it. And then we will be doing lots of decorating. I have a lot of things I have collected. Uh, and we will be setting it up, making it all aesthetically pleasing. Uh, displaying our cool armor and weapons. It's going to be a really good time. Yeah, I'm definitely going to find a mod to get rid of this shield effect. Because that is really annoying to see the sparkles all the time. So, bring me to the temp... No, not the temple. The foreign quarter. We're going to go up top. To the mages guild, of course. We're going to speed it up. <laughs> But yeah, overall, the Ebony Mail is probably the best piece of chest armor in the game. It's pretty great. Good Into the Mage's you. Guild, down the help. stairs. Please go ahead. Ask you. you. Actually, you know what? We should finish the other Mage's Guild things. Uh, so that's what we'll set up for next time. Uh, regular boots. Where are my regular boots? There they are. Anyway, Can I be of service? Uh, we're just about at the end of our stream, so we are going to set that up another time. Can I be uh, of you service? You don't want to watch me sort more piles of loot. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that was it for tonight. Dorcas became Morrowind Pope. Where is that? Uh, so I think he knows a little bit about Morrowind religion now. Um, we still haven't met any of these tribunal, uh, which I don't know. It feels like if you're the patriarch, you should you should be able to meet the tribunal. Maybe we will another session. I don't know. But uh, we're just about at the end of my time slot, so I am going to say good night to everyone. Uh, but first, I'm going to plug my extra life fundraiser again uh if you've tuned into my streams before you've heard me tell you about it i'm going to tell you about it again i am raising money for the toronto hospital for sick children through an event called extra life every year gamers all over the world raise money for their local children's miracle network hospitals 
and we finish it all off on game day, which is November 5th this year. Uh, I'm starting November 4th at 9.30 p.m., but we do a 24-hour gaming marathon. I will be live streaming the entire thing right here. You'll be able to watch the whole thing. Uh, I will be starting with the 1998 horror game Sanitarium. It'll be really good and spooky. But it's a great cause. Anything you donate is 100% tax deductible. It 100% goes to my local children's hospital. Again, that's Sick Kids here in Toronto. And yes, please donate generously. Every little bit helps. I've got some really fun incentives this year. You can pick an old game for me to play on my marathon. You can pick a place for me to fly in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I have all the flight sim equipment set up. Uh, we can fly wherever we want in the world and we can go sightseeing, whether it's your house or a uh, landmark or just a random place in the middle of nowhere. I'd be happy to fly there and take you on a tour. Uh, and my last incentive is one that's a little special. Uh, hey, Raspberry Poppy Seed, thanks for cheering. Uh, my last incentive, it is I will eat the world's hottest tortilla chip on a live stream. Not during my 24-hour marathon because I, I don't want to have to run to the toilet uh, potentially on and off for about 12 hours, which I hear can happen after eating the world's hottest tortilla chip. Uh, it is flavored with, I believe, ca uh, California snake? Reapers and Scorpion snake? Peppers. Uh, it's going to be really spicy. But if a generous soul donates $666 to my fundraiser, I will eat it. I will eat it on a stream. I will wash my hands very, very carefully, and I will try to play some video games uh, and see how long I can make it without guzzling gallons of milk. Uh, it's all for a really good cause, though. If you want to see me suffer, if you've got that kind of money to donate to a good cause, please do it. You can check out my fundraising page. Uh, there's a link up above in the chat. There's a link down below. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's an idea. Uh, but uh, it's a great cause. I do it every year. This is my sixth year doing it. Yeah, that's with the Lord's Mail. Uh, I'm actually going to try and find a way to turn it off because you even see it in first person and it's really bugging me. Regardless, Extra Life is great. Please check out my fundraising page. Please give generously. If you're not in a financial position to uh, donate, I understand. Times are tough. You can still help me. You can share my fundraising page with people who like old and weird games, like the old and weird games that I play. You can come out to my streams. You can say hello. You can come out on my marathon and help keep me awake. 24 hours is a really long time to stay awake for me. I am not good at all-nighters. I get pretty loopy uh, in the early hours of the morning, and it's really helpful to have people on the stream chatting with me, uh, people I can talk to, I can share things about the game I'm playing with, uh, so I don't just feel like I'm uh, talking into the void. It's super, super helpful. Anyways, like I said, uh, Extra Life, it's November 4th, 9.30 p.m. I'd love to see you there, Dragon Mech. Uh, it'll be a really good time. Uh, yeah, you'll hear about it a lot. I will talk about it constantly while I'm streaming, which will be Tuesdays and Sundays, 7.30 to 9.30 Eastern. Uh, tune in next time. Thanks, everyone, for coming out, and enjoy the rest of your evenings. Later.